Hey guys! So, today we are going to answer a subscriber question. And the question in question is, Frederick, is full stack development harder than mobile development? So let's get into it. Now, in a word, yes, it is harder. But, before we make that classic fatal mistake of thinking that I just dismissed an entire group of people and saying that one thing is harder than another because, you know, you can't do that in... There's a lot of areas where you cannot say that A is harder than B because then basically everybody who does B is going to be upset. Before we go there, I'm going to state something and I'm hopefully, hopefully you can see my point. Now, if somebody were to ask me, is rocket science harder than working at the cash register in, at McDonald's? I would say yes. That doesn't mean that I believe that a person who goes first day and stands at the cash register will know all the things that are needed. And that's the thing that I think a lot of people make as a mental mistake. I've talked to people I know who works uh, in the service industry who have people who come and look down on them because they perceive what they are doing to be something that is beneath them. And I think that's very weird because if I just ask them, hey, can you hop behind this, this counter and just take care of these customers? They would look like, you know, like idiots, complete idiots. They mo would most likely not even know how to open the register. And that's kind of the thing here. If something is new to you, everything is hard. If you know it by heart, if you really, really know it, hey, everything is easy. And the difference in my world is the size of the area and how much investment a person has to make in order to get really good at something. If something is really large, an area is really large, and somebody's a master of that area, I would say that they have probably worked quite long to achieve mastery of that field. But if somebody is good at something that is an area that is much smaller where the total amount of stuff that you have to learn is a little bit smaller the investment is less that doesn't mean that that person is incapable of doing the thing that is you know larger it's just a matter of time investment and that's exactly how i feel about mobile development versus full stack development because mobile development in of itself just doing mobile device development is a much smaller area than full stack because full stack means literally that now you have to be a master if you if you're going to master it of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, like just start off by the, these three things for the front end. And then you have to know a server-side language, databases, sessions. You need to know things about caching. You need to know things about, like, I mean, the list just goes on. I mean, these are just a few things. File storages, operations, cloud storage, uh, domain resolution, DNS, uh, HTTP, like, oh, and the list just goes on. And there's a, like, the suite of tools is just massive. All of these things, and then you come into archi server architecture, of course, and network architecture. All of these things. The area of full stack means literally that you have to know everything that er there is to know about web development. Because if you are a master of the entire stack, that's literally what it means. Now, nobody is, of course, a master. I, I would say that there are very few people who can claim to be a master of the entire web stack but i think we can all agree that the area is much smaller the or rather la much larger than just mobile development because if you ask the same question is front end harder than back end that's also a very subjective thing because there in theory there is more stuff to learn on the back end than there is on the front end that doesn't mean that front end is easy because uh, I, I can tell you right now, I know people who are absolute geniuses and they can make an entire and a really sophisticated application with a really, really powerful API or whatever they are building, but they can't even, they can't style a box in CSS. So it's way off. That's where it, where it always ends up in my world. So when it comes to learning, like the specific subscriber was more interested in, okay, whether or not he should go into mobile development first or do full stack development. And the thing is that in order for that to make any sense, you have to fundamentally answer the question, what is your goal? If your goal is to be a generic software developer, a person who has a good understanding of all of the industry and like all of the different things that you need to know in order to just work basically on any project, then full stack development or focusing on being a full stack developer is the way to go. If you are looking into becoming 
specifically a mobile developer or you just want to have some fun with you know a side project or you're doing it for hobby reasons anything of that nature then going into mobile first i mean doing mobile is fine in of itself but i will go and say that the my argument is and it will always be that a beginner starting out in software development needs to learn how a server works and how a ui like it doesn't really matter if it's the server and a mobile device and the server and a like a web page of some sort, it is vital that you understand the full stack. You need to have at least a basic understanding because otherwise you will simply be very limited in what you can do within the industry and what conversations you can contribute to and what problems you can solve because the server is a fundamental part of anything that happens on the web. That's, it's that simple. That's what the web is made up of, servers talking to each, others, each other and to clients and so forth. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you are looking to kind of have a soft start into software development and you're interested in mobile development, it's a very good first step because mobile development is a much smaller area than full stack development and it's going to very likely make you feel very empowered very quickly because it's actually... I would say as a beginner, when I did it, it was very forgiving. It's a lot less, to f there's a lot less noise in mobile development. You can focus on just learning the basics and there's quite good documentation for doing quite a lot of stuff. And if you are looking to become a, like a professional, someone who does this full time and for work purposes, I strongly suggest that you start off uh, with working with a, with a full stack mindset where you will learn web development with a server and a web page or an interface of some sort. Have a great day.